Hello everyone, welcome to weekly current affair quiz. Let's begin today's quiz. First question is consider the following statements with reference to eastern equine encephalitis. One, it is a mosquito bone viral disease. Two, it was first discovered from horses that is equines in 1830s. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Eastern equine encephalitis, a mosquito bone viral disease, continues to create havoc across the globe. It is an extremely rare but serious and often fatal infection that causes encephalitis or inflammation of the brain. The virus was first discovered from horses, that is equines, in 1830s. It is found in number of animals ranging from mammals to amphibians. Next question is a new technique developed to analyze the historic images of the sun is known as equal contrast technique coronal magnetic ejections, crust mass ejections or none of the above. The correct answer is option A, equal contrast technique. The scientists have developed a new method known as the equal contrast technique to analyze the historic time series of images of the sun. It can also help in understanding the dynamics of the sun, solar cycle variations, dynamo processes in the convection zone and resulting long-term climatic variations on the earth. Next question is, what is the primary objective of Project Umber? To improve gender diversification in the tech industry, to offer post-COVID jobs, to enhance short-term skill development training or none of the above. The correct answer is option A, to improve gender diversification in the tech industry. The Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship is providing cloud skills training to 1,500 learners under the Project Umber that is, Accelerated Mission for Better Employment and Retention. The initiative has been undertaken under the Sankalp program of MSDE with a focus on women to improve gender diversification in the tech industry and underprivileged groups. Next question is, in 1950, she started the Missionaries of Charity, whose primary task was to love and care for those persons nobody was prepared to look after. She received the Balzan Prize in 1979 and the Templeton and Maxisse Awards. Who among the following has been referred to in the lines given above? Savitri Bhai Phule, Tarojni Naidu, Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay or Mother Teresa? The correct answer is option D, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa's birth anniversary is celebrated every year on 26th August. She founded Missionaries of Charity and dedicated her life to spreading the love of Jesus Christ. She received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and was felicitated with Bharat Ratna in 1980. She also received the Balzan Prize in 1979 and the Templeton and Maxisse Awards. Next question is recently exercised Bright Star 23 was seen in the news. It is a multilateral tri-service exercise that is conducted biennially, annually, triennially or quadrilineally. The correct answer is option A, biennially. In a move to elevate military ties with Egypt, the Indian Air Force sent its contingent to participate in exercise Bright Star 23. It is a biennial multilateral trial service exercise being held at Cairo Air Base, Egypt from 27 August to 16 September. It will see participation of contingents from the USA, Saudi Arabia, Greece and Qatar. Next question is August 23 will be celebrated as Space Day, Chandrayaan 3 Day, ISRO Day or National Space Day? The correct answer is option D, National Space Day. To mark Chandrayaan 3's success, India will celebrate August 23 as National Space Day. To commemorate the success of the Chandrayaan 3 lander, PM Modi announced that the spot of landing of the Vikram lander will be known as Shiv Shakti. Next question is consider the following statements with reference to the recently developed humanoid robot. 1. It is 5 feet 8 inches tall and it weighs 72.6 kilograms. 2. It can handle weight up to 50 kilograms. 3. It works on electricity and is fitted with a 4-hour battery that can be charged. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only 1, only 2, all 3 or none. The correct answer is option B, only 2. Recently, the Austin-based robotic startup Aptronic has developed a humanoid robot, Apollo, that is designed to work alongside humans. It is as tall as a normal human being standing at 5 feet 8 inches and it weighs 72.6 kilograms. Apollo can handle weight up to 25 kilograms and it has been designed in such a way that it can work safely alongside humans. It works on electricity and is fitted with a 4-hour battery that can be charged. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बी ट्वेंटी आर ग्लोबल बिजनेस कम्युनिटी एसोसिएटेड विद जी ट्वेंटी वॉज फॉर्म इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइन टू थाउजेंड टेन टू और टू The correct answer is option B, 2010. The B20 established in 2010 is the official G20 dialogue forum with the global business community. Recently, the B20 2023 summit was organized in the national capital by Confederation of Indian Industries as a part of India's G20 presidentship. The summit was addressed by PM Modi. Next question is nine dash line is related to dash South China Sea, Atlantic Sea, Bering Sea, or North Sea. The correct answer is option A, South China Sea. Recently, China's government has released the 2023 edition of the Standard Map of China. It continues to show the entire state of Arunachal Pradesh and the Aksai chain region as being within China's borders. Through the map, China lays territorial claims on western borders, as also the so-called Nine Dash Line covering the entire South China Sea. Next question is the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearance is celebrated on which date? August 30, August 31, September 1 or September 5. The correct answer is option A. August 30. The International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearance is celebrated on August 30. It aims to raise awareness of the alarming increase in the number of enforced disappearances, which has now become a global problem. Next question is which device has been developed by ISRO Space Application Center for the safety of fishermen? सफाई मित्र नाभ मित्र नाभ मित्र और जल मित्र द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी नाभ मित्र नाभ मित्र डिवाइस हैज बिन डेवलप्ड बाय इसरो स्पेस एप्लीकेशन सेंटर अहमदाबाद फॉर द सेफ्टी ऑफ फिशरमैन अपार्ट फ्रॉम प्रोवाइडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट शिपिंग चैनल्स एंड मेरीटाइम बाउंड्रीज द डिवाइस विल ऑल्सो हेल्प टू आइडेंटिफाई फिशिंग फील्ड्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एज पर द स्टेट ऑफ इंडियाज बर्ड्स रिपोर्ट हाउ मेनी स्पीशीज वर आइडेंटिफाइड एज बींग ऑफ हाई कंजर्वेशन कंसर्न 150, 200, 178 or 139. The correct answer is option C, 178. The State of India's Birds 2023 report reveals a widespread decline in the most bird species across the country, with some currently declining and other projected to decline in the future. The report is brought out by the State of India's Birds Partnership, a group of 13 government and non-government organizations. Using IUCN standards the report says that 178 bird species are high conservation priority 323 as moderate priority and 441 as low priority Next question is which country will host first edition of the Global India AI conference in October 2023 Australia Canada UK or India The correct answer is option D India India is set to host first edition of Global India AI conference in October 2023 The conference is poised to cover a wide spectrum of topics including next generation learning and foundational AI models AI's applications in various domains and future of AI Next question is consider the following statements concerning super blue moon 1 when the moon reaches its closest point to earth it's classified as a super moon 2 compared to regular full moon a super blue moon appears approximately 14% larger Three, the moon appears larger, fuller, and brighter than during regular phases. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three, or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. The most significant lunar phenomenon of the year happened for a second time this month, also known as the super blue moon. The moon follows an elliptical orbit around our planet. When the moon reaches its closest point to the earth known as perigee it's classified as a super moon due to the reduced distance between earth and the moon the lunar body appears larger fuller and brighter than during regular phases compared to a regular full moon a super blue moon appears approximately 14% larger next question is consider the following statements with reference to international sanskrit day one it is commemorated on kartik purnima two it was first observed in the year 1971 Which of the statements given above is or are incorrect? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. World Sanskrit Day is also recognized as International Sanskrit Day, Sanskrit Divas, and Vishu Sanskrit Dinam. It is commemorated on the occasion of Shravan Purnima, which corresponds to the full moon. This year, Sanskrit Divas was observed on August 31. Sanskrit Divas was first celebrated in 1969 and comprises various events. which talk about the impact and importance of sanskrit next question is recently the scheduled launch of x rism was scrapped since the upper winds did not meet the launch conditions what does x rism stand for 
एक्सरे इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एंड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी मिशन एक्सरे इमेजिंग एंड साइंस मिशन एक्सरे इम्प्रोवाइज स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी मिशन और एक्सरे इमेजिंग एंड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी मिशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी एक्सरे इमेजिंग एंड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी मिशन द शेड्यूल्ड लॉन्च ऑफ द एक्सरे इमेजिंग एंड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी मिशन दैट इज एक्स रिज एंड द स्मार्ट लैंडर फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग मून हैज बिन स्क्रब्ड ड्यू टू द फैक्ट दैट द अपर विंड्स डिड नॉट मीट द लॉन्च कंडीशन इट इज अ जाग्सा नासा कोलेबोरेटिव मिशन विद ई एस ए पार्टिसिपेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द मिशन इज टू इन्वेस्टिगेट सेलेस्टियल एक्सरे ऑब्जेक्ट इन द यूनिवर्स विद हाई थ्रो पुच इमेजिंग एंड हाई रेजोल्यूशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द न्यू स्पाई एयरक्राफ्ट लॉन्च बाय इसराइल इज नोन एज ओरॉन ओरियॉन ओरान और नन ऑफ द अब द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ओरॉन द ओरॉन एयरक्राफ्ट अ रिजल्ट ऑफ इसराइल्स डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग प्रोग्रेस सिग्निफाइज अ रिमार्केबल एडवांसमेंट इन द नेशंस मिलिट्री कैपेबिलिटीज द एयरक्राफ्ट इज फिटेड विद लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एज आर्ट सेंसर्स कैमराज एंड ए आई द ओरॉन ऑपरेट्स एट एन इम्प्रेसिव ऑल्टीट्यूड रेंज ऑफ फोर्टी थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फीट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिसेंटली द फेडरल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन सक्सेसफुली डिसमेंटल्ड द नोटोरियस क्वैकबॉट बॉटनेट एज पार्ट ऑफ विच मल्टी नेशनल ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन क्वैकबॉट हंट ऑपरेशन डक हंट ऑपरेशन इन्वेस्टिगेशन हंट और ऑपरेशन मालवेयर हंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ऑपरेशन डक हंट द फेडरल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन द यू एस गवर्नमेंट्स डोमेस्टिक इंटेलिजेंस एंड सिक्योरिटी एजेंसी अनाउंस्ड इट सक्सेसफुली डिसमेंटल द नोटोरियस क्वैकबॉट बॉटनेट एंड रिमूव द मालवेयर फ्रॉम सेवन लैक मशीन वर्ल्ड वाइड द एक्शन वॉज पार्ट ऑफ अ मल्टी नेशनल ऑपरेशन डब्ड डक हंट एंड टुक प्लेस इन कंट्रीज लाइक फ्रांस जर्मनी नीदरलैंड लाथविया रोमानिया द यूनाइटेड किंगडम एंड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड न्यू गाइडलाइंस टू स्ट्रेंथन द साइबर सिक्योरिटी एंड साइबर रेजिलियंस फ्रेमवर्क फॉर मार्केट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंस्टीट्यूशन आर बी आई नीति आयोग सी एस ओ और से बी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी से बी इंडिया कैपिटल मार्केट रेगुलेटर से बी हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड न्यू गाइडलाइंस टू स्ट्रेंथन द साइबर सिक्योरिटी एंड साइबर रेजिलियंस फ्रेमवर्क फॉर मार्केट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंस्टीट्यूशन such as stock exchanges clearing corporations and repositories these guidelines come into immediate effect and address the interconnectedness and interdependency of mii's expanding the scope of cyber risk beyond their controlled systems last question is what is the main focus of the kampala ministerial declaration economic development in africa human rights protection for migrants promoting international trade agreements or addressing climate induced migration challenges The correct answer is option D addressing climate induced migration challenges a total of 48 african countries have now agreed to adopt the kampala ministerial declaration on migration environment and climate change to address the nexus of human mobility and climate change in the continent the declaration is the first comprehensive action oriented framework led by member states to address climate induced mobility in a practical and effective manner so what was your score do share it thanks for watching